Dr. Jeff here with you uh, again this week. Um, it's quite often I get patients that come in and they, they get a feeling they've got a plugged ear and uh, would like me to have a look at it and as a chiropractor, yeah, we can look at ears and in eyes and things like that. Uh, so I'll have a look, <clears throat> look inside of it and I may not be able to see anything because there's so much wax uh, in the way. Uh, so what's the best way to get that wax out? Uh, using a Q-tip is not suggested. Most doctors will tell you to want to do that or some people will put a pen in or a pencil or a, you know, something in the ear and try and scrape it out. Uh, not recommended because you actually get in too far. You can damage the eardrum or damage the ear in different ways. So what they suggest you do is taking an eyedropper and just putting a little bit of mineral oil or glycerin or baby oil, uh, even maybe a, a, a salt water solution. Um, tip your head and get someone to put a few drops of, of, uh, of that in your ear. Give that a day or so for it to soften the wax up. And then you can take a, a, a rubber bulged uh, syringe or um, you know, some people with kids will have the little tile all thing where you, with a liquid tile you can shoot down the throat, you can use that. Get a little uh, warm salt solution again here on your side, tip it in, uh, gently squeeze the uh, water into your ear. When you do that, it creates a whirlpool effect inside the ear, which helps uh, break the wax up and the wax up. So you shake it out and dry the ear off, and uh, you may have to repeat that once or twice to get uh, all the wax out. Um, some people suggest using some hydrogen peroxide. Uh, the problem with that is, uh, is what they find is that the hydrogen peroxide is too strong. It can actually cause damage to your ear. It can burn your ear. Also, ear candling is a popular thing. Uh, you get a hollow candle, then you lean on your side, you put the candle in your ear, you light it on fire, um, and it kind of smolders and it creates a vacuum to suck the, uh, the wax and all the, all the, the, the junk out of your ear. Um, so don't find that very beneficial. Um, some people will say that that's very dangerous as well because you can, you know, you can catch things on fire, uh, you can damage the ear, um, but some people uh, uh, do that with success. Um, if you want to keep your ear clear after, after you've done that, one way to do that is every morning in the shower, just as, a sh as the water is coming out of the shower, just put your ear in the shower, pull your eardrum down and back a little bit to open the eardrum up. Some of the water can get in there and kind of, again, create that whirlpool effect uh, to get the wax out and again, shake it out just to keep on top of the wax build up on your ear. The wax is a common thing in your ear because it protects the ear uh, from bacteria and stuff, so it's very common to get. Uh, but uh, again, if it gets too full, you can lose your hearing, it gets itchy, causes different problems. So if you have any questions about anything we talked about today about taking care of those ears of yours, you can always uh, talk to me on Facebook or, or email me at jgoldswells.com. Uh, I've got, uh, I'm Dr. Jeff and I've got your back.